Welcome to Weight Loss Losers. Today is Saturday, January the 9th, 2010, and you're watching Weight Loss Losers. Thank you for tuning in again. And this week we're talking about being sick. How do you stay on plan when you're sick? What do you do about exercise? Things like that. Um, as for me, when I'm sick, sometimes I just don't stay on plan, um, to be honest. Now, like a lot of us, sometimes I'm just not on plan, whether I'm sick or not. Um, sad but true. Um, and then there's other times when I'm sick, depending on what's going on, you know, if I'm not feeling good mentally or if, you know, I have a cold and I can't taste things. Sometimes I just don't want to eat, you know, anything or, you know, if nothing tastes good, that kind of thing, I just don't eat enough. And those are the two extremes. Um, you know, eating too much or eating the wrong things and not eating enough. So I think the best advice that I can give to you and to myself is to find somewhere in the middle, balance. Um, even if you're sick, just try your best to plan, you know, easy things that you can eat, whether it's fresh fruit. And for those of you who've had weight loss surgery, you know, just make sure you're not very sensitive to the fruit sugars. But, you know, fresh fruit or... You know, oatmeal in the morning, something warm, um, some hot tea, uh, a protein shake. Whether you've had weight loss surgery or not, that's a way to get, you know, nutrition in. If you, you Maybe if you just don't really feel like cooking a meal and eating, you know, have some protein shakes throughout the day. Make something that tastes good. You know, some, you know do a recipe of a protein shake or, or just find a powder or a pre-made one that you like that tastes good. Um, because if it doesn't taste good, you're not going to want to drink it, especially when you're sick. So that would be a good option. But just, you know, try to get simple things, some soup, something that makes you feel better. And, and just, you know, sometimes you might have to, you know, kind of make yourself do that. But just try to stay, you know, hydrated and nourished. And, and that's another thing, you know, and I have a big problem with this. But... One of the most important things while you're sick is to stay hydrated. Now, if you're drinking the protein shakes, of course, that can count towards your fluid totals. But um, that's something that, it, Allison, you need to come back and watch this video so you'll remember what you said, you know, to stay hydrated. But, you know, just however you can do it, just keep yourself um, nourished and with good things and you know whether you're eating you know some fresh fruit in the morning and then a couple protein shakes throughout the day you're doing something you're not just you know eating too much of the wrong or the wrong things or you're not just eating at all so um you know every little bit helps just focus on keeping yourself um nourished so you can feel better as far as exercise if you're very sick like if you have the flu or something like that I would say to take it easy, um, and I don't mean like milk it for all it's worth and, you know, even after you're well, you know, or almost well, you know, not wanting to exercise, which um, does happen, but, you know, just take it easy and recover. Don't, you know, get on the treadmill and go passing out and falling up against the wall or something. Um, so just take it easy, but now... When I had those problems where I was hurting in my back, and um, I've considered that being sick, I guess, it felt better for me to move around. So it depends on what's going on, like what kind of sickness that you do have, um, whether you um, should take it easy or whether you should move around, because some things do help for you to move around, get things going. Um, so just it will just depend on what's going on. But as far as, like, medication and things like that, um, I used to not like taking medicine hardly ever, and I still don't take a lot of medicine. But for the weight loss surgery patients, of course, you know, take your vitamins, um, you know, even when you're sick. And I know a lot of us do forget and we kind of, you know, get busy or whatever, but, you know, we need to take our vitamins. But as far as other medicine... 
Um, I do take some medicine like when I have a cold or something like that, but I don't do that all the time. You just have to judge what you think about medicine. I think there is a place for it. Um, I just think we don't need to overdo it, like taking it every single day, like, uh, you know, cold medicine or Advil or whatever. Now, there are prescription medicines that, you know, we, you know, some of us take uh, every day for different health problems and stuff like that. Um, and uh, before I really, I was very iffy on it. I didn't really like taking medicine, but I do think certain times there are, there is a place for it. Um, and it does help. Now, also, there are a lot of natural things that you can do. Um, and if you watch Shanti's video, and if you haven't, go check her video out. Um, you know, there's things that you can do as far as like, you know, herbal tea, things like that. There's a lot of natural remedies that you can try as well. You just have to decide what you think is the best for you. Um, but that's about all that I have um, for this week. And stay tuned tomorrow for Greg, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.